In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the midpoint between two ordered pairs. Now, if you notice, I've labeled two ordered pairs here, x1, y1, and x2, y2. And the question is, what's the point that's halfway in between these two points? So if we drew the line segment that connects these two points, what, what is the point that is right in the center of that line segment? Okay, how do we find the coordinates? Okay, we're going to come up with a midpoint formula. The midpoint formula says if the endpoints of a line segment are x1, y1, and x2, y2, then the coordinates of the midpoint are, and we're going to uh, try to come up with the, the formula here. So notice that this first point is x1, y1, meaning that the x coordinate is x1, and the second point, the x coordinate is x2. And also for the y coordinates, we can put y1 here and y2 up here. Now notice that midpoint, the x-coordinate of the midpoint should be halfway in between the x-coordinates of the midpoints uh, of the original two points. So how do we find a number that's halfway in between x1 and x2? Well, essentially what we're trying to do is find the average of x1 and x2. And if you remember, the way you find the average of two numbers is to add them up and divide by 2. So x1 plus x2 over 2, that's the x-coordinate of our midpoint. And the y-coordinate will be y1 plus y2 over 2. So the coordinates of our midpoint here are x1 plus x2 over 2, comma y1 plus y2 over 2. Okay, so that's what we'll put up here in our formula. And notice that, the, that it's an ordered pair. Right? We have a comma in between these numbers, and we have parentheses around them. Right? So the midpoint is a, is a point. All right, so let's do an example. Find the midpoint of the line segment whose endpoints are minus 1, 3, and 11, 10. So I've drawn these points minus 1, 3, and 11, 10. And the question is, what's the point that is halfway in between them? So that would be eh, maybe somewhere around here. What are the coordinates of that point? Well, let's use our midpoint formula. Uh, notice that what we need to do is call one of the points x1, y1 and we'll call the other point x2, y2. And it doesn't matter which point you call which, the, the final answer will end up being the same. So the midpoint formula says x1 plus x2 over 2 is the x-coordinate, and y1 plus y2 over 2 is the y-coordinate. And what that ends up being is minus 1 plus 10 over 2, because x1 is minus 1, x2, uh, I'm sorry, 11, x1 is minus 1, x2 is 11. Uh, then we have 3 plus 10 over 2 for the y coordinates. y1 is 3, y2 is 10. So notice negative 1 plus 11 is 10. So we have 10 over 2, comma, 13 over 2. And that is 5, comma, 13 over 2. And if you wanted to write it as a decimal, that would be 5, comma, 6.5. Okay, and you can look at your, the point here, and it seems reasonable that this point would have coordinates 5, 6.5. All right, so that's how you find the midpoint between two points.